What's up? It's your boy, D-Change, coming at ya with another Daily Dave. It's Friday, April 17th, 2020, and I have a little marker on my calendar that says, Did you complete the 30-day Daily Dave challenge? Now, actually, uh, it wasn't 30 days because it was like a full month or something like that. But um, I am happy to say that I have made one Daily Dave for every single day since March 16th. I was about to say April 16th, but March 16th. You can check it out on my YouTube channel. <laughs> I'm pretty sure um, the 16th was the first day I started doing these because that was when was when I got back from Mammoth and uh, Shelter in Place was announced for California, I believe on Tuesday evening. So we had already started working from home on that Monday, at least for me. Um, so yeah, I am, I guess this is a retrospective episode then, you know, it's got to wrap up, got to wrap up the like 30 day period or whatever, or the month long period. So I am pretty satisfied with the fact that I've recorded one of these um, every day for a month straight. Now, to be honest, um, I record these pretty much an hour after each day ends, so the date attributed to the video is not real. Um, but I'm not going to take that away from my victory, right? I don't, I don't care about that. <laughs> No, but um, I am very satisfied with the fact that I've kept up the habit for a whole month. Therefore, I'm going to announce that I will no longer do... No, just kidding. I do want to continue doing these. Um, I think I want to see how long I go for, or maybe... I wanted to do it at first to, to make sure I could do it, right? Even when it was tough to do it, even when I didn't want to do it. Um... I wanted to get into that habit, so I'm I'm very satisfied with the fact that I've I've kept up with this uh, this habit for the past month. Now I want to do I do want to continue it, but the good thing is, um, well, I don't know if it's a good thing for you or not. But what I want to do is kind of um, figure out where I want to take it. Now this could continue to just be a daily rambling uh, fest, which you know I'm okay with, especially if we're in quarantine i mean there's not not a whole lot of interesting things about my life that i'm going to be able to talk about during this time but i would like to um you know call back memories uh tell stories from the past once again i've alluded to it before but the the japan video series the japan life series is uh, something i want to get into um more creative topics in general like i have a lot of i've had a lot of thoughts about what to talk about for a show like this or for a podcast with friends in general. So I would hope to be able to either repurpose some of those uh, for this little vlog thing or, um, yeah, just come up with something something themed or something different. Um, it's not something I have, like, too much... Uh, what, what would you call it? Too much stake? No, I mean, like... I haven't thought too heavily about, you know, what kind of a drastic direction do I want to take this? No, I think, um, I think a daily Dave update is good. Um, if I really want to get the views, I gotta, I gotta catch COVID-19 and then be like, this is what it's like, man. I'm in the ICU. No, that's terrible. I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to vlog like that. It's terrible. Before you know it, I'm going to be walking into hospitals and being like, oh, it's a, it's a hoax, right? Terrible. Anyway, um, <laughs> No, let's, uh, what I do want to do with this is, uh, I guess, I don't know, use it as a semi-platform. I mean, it's not really my platform. It's, it's on Facebook. It's on YouTube. This is just my, my talking, this is my podium or whatever, you know, I'm not, not going to try to be too, too, um, controversial or anything like that. I just want to, just want to use this as a time to communicate with those close to me and those who wish to, uh, wish to receive this communication so yes as i said before i'm satisfied i'm, I'm happy i i did this uh, i think it's a good thing that i did do this um 
it definitely taught me that this is def this is possible um you know that excuse of like oh i just don't have time i just don't really want to do it doesn't really work out because even if i like committed to a job and all that i there's still time every single day that i could do this i figured it out you know i didn't have to be uh like locked up at home in order to do something like this so duh right but yeah um this is this has been a cool experiment and um, it's been a good way to kind of reflect on on current events and and I guess things that have been that have been happening previously. Like for example, I I, I cited the uh, the Italian video series where it was like people talking about ten days ago, what were you thinking, and then now, what are you thinking? Because their the pandemic really hit them really hard, at least northern Italy, and so they made a you know people made a series of videos where they they basically kind of did a diary of um hey you know don't be stupid stay at home etc um the funny thing about me is that i was already kind of paranoid about this thing since like january because <laughs> i had been keeping up with it so the the amount of like media exposure i got i mean it wasn't even like mainstream news really it was um it was independent youtubers you know people talking about it and following kind of like the science behind it and like the medical personnel that talked about it that was very you know it was very interesting to see how I perceived how things were going to go and then how everyone else did. And everyone had a different response, right? And I was wondering how, like, my workplace would handle it, how my city would handle it, how my state would handle it, and how our country would handle it, and then the rest of the world and all that. So it's been super interesting. Um, I hope to, like, look back on this someday and be like, wow, like, you know... It's interesting how you were reacting versus how they were reacting versus how they were reacting and, you know, something like that, I guess. Um, I was also looking at some of my old, my old Daily Daves from when I was in Tokyo. That was back when I had the microphone, like, super close to my mouth, like, because it was the, um, it was a dynamic microphone. So it was actually better for, like, podcasting. This, this, uh, giant thing I have right here is a condenser microphone and it's actually better for like quiet rooms and to record like instruments and stuff like that it's just interesting because this is a blue yeti by the way it's just interesting because um for some reason so many like youtubers and twitch streamers actually like this microphone um and i kind of jumped on that bandwagon like five six years ago i don't know it was, it was a while ago i've had this microphone for a long time so i'm really happy with it. i'm really happy with the setup i have i'm just like wow like before it was like are you you know are you getting into radio are you gonna like why are you spending all this money on this stuff and honestly yeah you know i don't i don't make money doing this stuff it's just it's something that i felt like i wanted to do you know it's it was like again it, it's that creative itch that i wanted to scratch right all the way back from when, I don't know, 2011, 2012, when I started, like, talking to these guys on a website that that were fans of these Japanese pop groups. Like, that eventually led to, like, podcasting and streaming and this, like, new world of just, like, man, like, internet-based media. And I'm really glad that, like, I kind of went on that journey, you know? And there's so much more out there that... um you know, there's so much more I want to explore and there's so much more I would, you know, tell people about. Like, you can totally introduce yourself to a completely new world out there of content creators, of communities, and all that stuff. So, it's really cool. Um, yeah, this is just me waxing poetic about myself. This was a Circle Jerk podcast. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Um, yeah, I hope to... Uh, I hope to kind of, I guess, hammer out a, uh, a Japan retrospective series pretty soon. Now that, um, I think in terms of like anxiety and updates about the pandemic, things have been calming down. Like, you know, at least in California, numbers are stabilizing. I don't even look at them every day anymore. Thank goodness. I don't, I don't want to be like, I just didn't want to be assaulted by, um, kind of worry anymore. Right. The good thing is, like, I've been keeping up with the precautions. I've been, you know, stocking up on stuff that my family would need. 
still, you know, doing the grocery runs, making sure my parents don't wander off and like go get coughed on or whatever. Um, you know, just trying to make sure that uh, we're taking every precaution we can. And um, yeah, so it's this series, is, this vlog is now less about, hey, like what's my life like in quarantine? It should be more about things that, what what is the word transcend this this medium and this situation so i mean this this situation is actually really good for um for practicing stoicism right because keeping calm in like a stressful situation stressful time is a, is a good skill to have because there's a lot you can't control you know but what you can what you can control is how you react to it what i can control you know is I can make these vlogs every day. I I can I feel I have agency, you know. I could continue to work from home properly. I could continue to provide for my family in whatever way I can. Continue to keep up with my friends, you know, and check up on people who, you know, might be alone or um, I haven't talked to in a while. So those are things I can control. I can't control how the federal government handles this, how the state government handles this. I mean, I could write to my representatives that's that's something i can control but i can't control the decisions they make i can't control this virus blah 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 all this other stuff so i might as well just focus on you know what's in front of me and what i can do and um yeah i'm glad i'm i'm glad that i've done this and i think i will continue to do this for the foreseeable future in before you don't see one tomorrow um but uh yeah i think keeping it a daily thing would be nice um Ah shoot. We we might as well might as well promise to do another month's worth, you know, we're resubscribing to the Daily Dave. Thanks everybody. You know, hit the bell to get your notifications, smash that like button, <laughs> leave a comment. <laughs> um thanks for joining the uh the the, the, the subscribers crew of my of my channel. <laughs> now you can get a emoji or whatever. That's how, that's how Twitch works. Anyway, um, yeah, this was a this was a good experiment, and um, I think it was a good it was a good amount of practice. It's similar to what I did in Tokyo because I did actually I did actually have about thirty plus episodes of the Daily Dave um, in Tokyo. I was actually rewatching the the one I recorded with my friend Dennis, aka my Swedish boyfriend. Um, we went to Oro Onsen Monogatari together, and that's like a uh, like a kind of like a public bathhouse theme park. And I say that because there's it it is a like a bathhouse that mimics like um, the hot springs, natural hot springs in the mountains. But the building it's in pretends to be like a like a summer festival, a Japanese summer festival. So it's really cool. You wear the traditional robes. You walk around. You can eat food, play games, get drunk, sleep on the floor in certain places, and you can go take a bath and stuff. And there's also, like, massages and other services there, too. And, uh, yeah, it was just really... I guess it was just really nice to see that again, to see footage of us hanging out, um, talking about what we wanted to talk about, but not the topic we originally wanted to talk about. Uh, so that was really funny. Um... But speaking of which, uh, expect something from me and Dennis soon because we are trying to work on something together. So that'll be nice. And another funny thing that's project related is um, uh, some of you know, but two of my close friends, Alex and Dustin, and I have been trying to get a podcast off the ground. But it's like, I mean, there's there's plenty of like, you know, oh, we want to do this, we want to do that, and, like, juggling of different priorities and all that, where we were trying to figure out, you know, what we are what we really wanted from the podcast. And so we got a better flow going on. Then this pandemic happens. And um, so we originally wanted to call this show Any Which Way, right? So the other day, I had, like, edited a, a, a show, an episode, I was getting it ready. I was like, hmm, there's a free service I know of that I can uh, upload this to. So let me go create a group email account for us. And so um, I'm signing up on Gmail. 
and it's like any which way is taken any any which way podcast is taken i'm like no way I google this and there's an any which way podcast on cast box started on like march 25th and i'm like you have got to be kidding me dude so the moral of the story here is if you sit on your ass too long you're gonna lose the cool names that you came up with <laughs> oh my god okay so like branding wise whatever we'll figure out a new name i'm just it's just one of those things where you're like really dude you know like you just let it go like that but um at the same time you know what i've never tried to launch like a separate podcast by myself like this so this lesson learned if you if you think up of a name that might be good you might just want to take it you know and then just just roll with it let's go so that's the moral of the story today um i hope you enjoyed this last month of updates or even just this one video itself um don't worry about what you know needing to watch all these or whatever i don't even care dude um <laughs> i feel like the the feedback i get the most is literally like hey dave like just wanted to let you know I don't watch all your videos but it's really cool and i'm like i don't care dude like <laughs> you don't have to watch all of them you know if anything you don't have to let me know if you watch them or not because uh no it's i i'm, I'm really glad that um that people have been watching and they've been letting me know you know like hey i really enjoy this like it's uh and i i, I like the comments and yeah so it's cool Thank you. I I really do appreciate it. So, if anything, I do this for you. This content is all for you. <laughs> anyway, um, thank you again. And uh, happy, happy one month of Daily Daves. And uh, here's to hopefully another month, if we're not all stuck going crazy like this forever. Thanks again. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out, guys.